In this demonstration, I'm going to show how to register the PKHMI program as an OPC server. And I'm also going to show how to publish a tag so that an OPC client can access the tag value. When PKHMI is installed, it does not automatically register itself as an OPC server. We can see this by launching this OPC Explorer. selecting new server we see there are no available servers otherwise PKHMI would be listed here when PKHMI was installed it created a tools directory in whatever path the program was installed in in that tools directory is a batch file register OPC server double click on it I'm going to ask, are you sure you want to continue? Select the Y key, press the Enter key, and now the server is registered. And we can see this by double clicking on this OPC Explorer, selecting New Server, and there's a PKHMI server. We select OK, and close this up. Now we'll launch the PKHMI program select configuration points we have two tags and we're going to publish just one of the tags the analog one tag and this property here OPC publishes false we want a client to be able to see this tag and all of its properties we enable it set it to true save the project monitoring start this is the window we created it in an earlier de demonstration percent fill but we can see that analog one tags value changing here so move this off to the side now we'll launch this OPC Explorer again here's our server and there's our analog one tag and these are all the different properties that tag has this is the process variable analog and if we double click on it we see the value of 8. This window is static, so you have to close it and reopen it again to see the, the tag value. This is just a demonstration of the OPC client. We also see that the digital one tag that we created is not shown. We did not publish that tag, so an OPC client does not have access to that tag. So we'll close this program. We'll quit runtime monitoring. Close PKHMI. And if you want to unregister the server in the same directory, there's a batch file unregister OPC server. So we double click on it, select Y, select the Enter key. Now we'll launch this OPC. Explore again. Select OK. This server is the server we configured earlier. It's not actually talking to the server at this time. It's just its configuration. So we'll delete it. And now we select New Server, and there are no available servers. Cancel.